everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Welcome, fabricators. Straight out of Microsoft Build, we've got some big announcements. And the first one that we're gonna tackle is mirroring in SQL Server. In SQL Server 2025, there's gonna be some nuances. So we're gonna tackle that next week. But for today, what we're covering is mirroring itself. This is gonna cover SQL Server 2016 to SQL Server 2022. We need to make sure to enable change data capture. So you're gonna see me do that, but I'm also gonna show you the error that happens if you don't enable this and you just try and mirror a database. This is gonna be the underlying mechanism that allows our changes to make it up into the cloud. This is gonna be what makes sure that our databases stay up to date. If you have a data warehouse on-prem and you've been waiting to move it to Microsoft Fabric, now is the time to do it because it is, you know what? I don't wanna tell you about this. I wanna show it to you. Let's go look at this together. All right, so we're gonna start off with the obligatory, here's how you install a on-premise data gateway. We're gonna download it. I'm gonna skip through a lot of this because we've done this in a lot of videos. I'm gonna double click on it. We're going to basically hit next, next, next. We could add this to a cluster. You could have multiple different ones. If you wanna update this, updating the software is also gonna be an option. And we wanna make sure we're running on the latest and greatest version of the data gateway. At this point in time, we put in the email address that will be associated with our tenant that we're gonna use for the communication of the gateway. We configure it, you're gonna set a name. I'm gonna make this simple. Brad SQL on-premise mirroring, because that's exactly what this is. We're gonna use this for mirroring our SQL 2022 instance. Now our gateway is configured, everything is set up, it's working, double rainbow right in the background. How wonderful is that? Okay, now we are free to go to Microsoft Fabric. We're gonna to go to the little gear icon in the top right-hand side and down to manage connections and gateways. In here, we're gonna look at on-premise data gateway. And if this worked successfully, we're gonna see the name of our on-premise data gateway right there. Now let's make a connection. We're going to pick our gateway cluster name we're going to then pick the connection name. I'm calling this Baseball Analytics because that's the database I'm using. Now I'm using the server, putting in the database. I'm gonna use basic authentication, but we could use Windows. If it's an ARC enabled SQL Server, you could use a service principle, whatever you wanna use. Go ahead and create it. Now we've got our connection in place. Right there, we can see it's been created. Now what we need to do is we need to make sure SQL is configured. So I'm in my Avengers Tower SQL instance, and I've got my baseball analytics databases. I want to copy up all these tables. So first I need to enable CDC and enable it for each table. I can see right now CDC is not enabled on my database. And so quick query, let's go ahead and run it. Let's enable this. This will run pretty quickly. And then I'm going to need to run this for every table that I have in the database. So you might have to configure this for a few tables. We go ahead and run this. This is gonna process. When it does, we're gonna get an update mask. Uh, our message is out from the function and then we're going to go over and let's take a look. We should see on sys databases, CDC is now enabled. Wonderful. Okay, back over to Microsoft Fabric. Now we can create our mirrored SQL Server. I'm gonna come into the new items and I'm gonna type mirroring. And we've got a lot of new options. You can see new things have popped up since Microsoft Build. We've got Cosmos, we've got Postgres. We're going mirrored SQL Server database. We're going to select our connection. And even though I've got two baseball analytics connections, you can see which one I was using. And then I'm gonna go ahead and connect. I want all my tables and I want all future tables. Now I'm gonna change this name. It automatically populated baseball analytics too, because I already have a baseball analytics. I'm gonna make it on-prem baseball analytics and we're gonna go ahead and configure and set up the mirror. Once this start, it's gonna take a little while. The first thing that will happen is the DDL will read, the tables will be created based off of what we have within our database. Then it will start using the CDC process underneath the covers to forklift the data up and get any changes that we need. Any upserts, inserts, updates, deletes. There's our fabric magic. I can see I've got all my rows replicated. There's my tables. Let's take a look at it. I can now go to the SQL Analytics endpoint. And if I did this via SSMS, I would see this database sitting there with everything else. But let's go ahead and let's look at some tables, right? Let's just take a look at our dim date that was part of this database. And there I can see there's my date dimension. I could run a new T-SQL query. And I could go ahead. You can see we've got IntelliSense on this. I could use Copilot, even though this is an F2. We covered that in another video, right? And team went to a 10 by year. Let's go ahead and run it. My data starts to come back. Boom, there we go. So. I've got all my data warehouse information and I've now got it up in Microsoft Fabric. 
And it's going to stay up to date because of the magic of CDC. How fantastic is this? Wonderful stuff. Now, I did tell you that you could run into an error if you haven't enabled CDC. So I did set this up without CDC enabled on a database just to show you this is what it looks like. Uh, you'll get this error. Table may need to be created procedure because the table does not have net changed enabled. User account does not have permission to enable CDC on the table. Go and check that you have CDC enabled on the database and more importantly that you have CDC enabled on the tables. Otherwise, this is the exact error that you will get. And when you get this, you know, hey, something isn't configured quite right. The replication isn't working. We want that replication in place. Okay, sound off. You know where we want to keep this going? Down in the comments. I want to hear from you. Are you excited about this? This is that magic easy button that we have always talked about where you can forklift your SQL Server into Microsoft Fabric. You don't have to build any pipelines. You can keep it up to date. You can get your data moving and transferred. I want to hear from you. Are you using it successfully? Are you excited to use it? Are you looking to use it? Thank you so much for joining us on Tales from the Field. As always, be good to one another out there. Bye, everybody. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake